Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with React project inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will look at downloading and installing the necessary components needed for us to get started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. React is a JavaScript library for building interactive user interface. It lets you compose complex UIs from small and isolated pieces of code known as components. And of course, Visual Studio is an integrated development environment, IDE, created by Microsoft for building software, website, web apps, etc. So enough of all of the talking, let's get into the real stuff. So as you can see on the screen, I have Visual Studio installer opened. So we go, if you haven't installed a Visual Studio, please make sure you do first. So if you've installed a Visual Studio, what we do is we click on the modify. You open the installer and you click on the modify. So here, we have to make sure that we check on this box. ASP.NET and web development. So this actually helps you to build web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP, HTML, JavaScript, and whatnot, yeah? And then we have to also make sure that we click on this, the node.js development. So this will actually install all the necessary node components, yeah? So once we once you select on this ASP.NET and web development, you have to also make sure that you have this option selected as well. So ASP.NET web development. So you have to make sure that we have this option selected. Yeah, the additional project templates. Yeah, we have to make sure that this is also checked. So once you're done with that, then you download and install it. I've I'm not going to go ahead with that because I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to close it. Then we launch the Visual Studio. But before we actually launch the Visual Studio, there's one more thing that we got to do. We have to open the browser, yeah? Uh, we Google. I mean, Google, Google on Google. We Google, uh, we, we, we install the node. We download and install node.js, yeah? Node.js. So here you actually install whatever is applicable to you, yeah? So you download and install the node.js, .js, yeah? It's very important. So once you're done with that, yeah, then you actually restart your computer. After that, then we click on the we come at this stage here, yeah, we click on the create a new project. So here, as you can see, if it's under all languages, yeah, we select JavaScript, yeah? So if you follow all the necessary steps here yeah, and you get to this stage, then you should have all these templates show it showing or coming up, yeah? So we scroll down. So as you can see here now, we have a standalone JavaScript React project. So this is JavaScript React project template, which is a bootstrapped, which is bootstrapped by running your global install of NPS. Yeah. So we select this here, and then we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure the project details here, but we're not going to look too much into that. Yeah. So we're just going to click on the next. So here, what you can do is add integration for MTSB.net web API project. Yeah, so you can check on this box here to add ASP.net web API project. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, so we're just going to click on the create. So once you get this, yeah, this window, so you, you add, um, okay, yeah, to proceed. So
so as you can see here now we have all the necessary components being downloaded and installed so we're just going to wait for, for the whole thing to complete so obviously i'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing completes so now that we've got the command installation completed so as you can see here now we have the visual studio being started yeah so as you can see here now we have the project being created or uh, created for us yeah so we're just gonna look inside briefly yeah so as you can see we've got these two folders yeah so this is the public folder yeah so here we have So we have this here. So basically, this is just the, the entry point for our application. So we can look at the source as well. So here, we look at the, um, the index.js. And here we have the appstart, yeah? So what we would do next is actually run it to see what actually comes out of it, yeah? So as you can see here now, we actually have our first React uh, web UI project up and running yeah so from here it's pretty easy just to just to go ahead and actually uh, tweak this um, template just to suit whatever you want to do so if you look at on the screen here now we have so you can edit a source straight up from the app.js yeah so we look at that before we actually sign up so yeah so if we come inside here we come inside the source the app.js so here obviously you can start to edit from here and you can also add a bunch of stuff whatever you actually want to add so as you can see uh, it's not really difficult to get us started yeah so I'm, I'm not going to do a lot, but I'm going to continue from this stage here yeah, on my next upcoming video on this topic. Yeah. So we're just going to look at how we can actually edit this um, template. Yeah. So stay tuned and um, subscribe because I have a lot of videos coming up. Yeah. So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Blessed.